Welcome to AutoCAD Learning. In this session, we will talk about the very basic drawing tool that is a line tool. Line tool is a very basic and primitive drawing tool used for any type of drawing and drafting. You can see that the line tool has been given in the draw section of the ribbon. The command for line tool is L I N E line. But before that, we have to do certain things uh, we have to check about the workspace switching or workspace setting command for is that ws current go there and because we are doing it in 2d so check the drafting and animation okay once it's done we have to go for the unit setup it has been uh, it has been observed and it has been totally discussed in the previous video just go to the drawing utilities click on the units the unit dialog box will come check up the length type which we are using we are using it in decimal precision we are giving it up to two decimal points angle type we are putting it in decimal degrees precision at one decimal point and we are taking angle at the anti-clockwise direction so clockwise direction we will not check it out and for the insertion scale we will use millimeters okay done unit setup has been done so starting with the line so for the line just use the line command l i n e or you can just click over there at the draw section the line icon has been given there line has been come up click enter it has been asking for the line specify first point we can give the first point coordinate or we can select by the mouse pointer on the screen just click to select the point but for the first we are giving it uh, the coordinates just give uh, we are giving it 5 comma 5 we are taking it at the coordinate 5 comma 5 and we can see specify the next point uh, last uh, we can specify the next point also by clicking on the window or just giving the coordinates also so we are giving it the in the way of giving the coordinates just to give 10 comma 10 is the second point coordinate okay so our line has been done you can see and if you want to extend the line further draw another line at the chain so you can do or if you don't want to do that just click the escape button or just click the enter button both will be useful so we have we got that line this is our line what we got if you uh, put the mouse pointer at the point in between or in the side you can get the actual line click on it and it will be selected so this is the line this is the point the first point 5 comma 5 and this is the 10 comma 10 okay so this is the basic drawing rule for the line also we can uh, click to select the points it is very easy so just uh, do it in a rough way just clicking on the uh, line tool on the draw section i'm giving it the first point selecting here next point selecting here third point selecting here fourth point selecting here fifth point selecting here six points selecting here and after that i don't want to go any further just click enter or escape so this is the line chain we can get it easily very easily we can get the line chain just clicking on the window or just putting the actual coordinates the number two the second method for any line drawing which we will be going to use is we are putting the first point and for the next point for the next point we are giving the coordinate or just clicking on it right so despite of doing this we want a straight line in perpendicular or parallel for that we have to do a we have to click on a certain 
feature that is called ortho mode this is the ortho mode and you can do it by clicking on f8 the function key f8 it will also work the command ortho on the ortho on the ortho mode is on already so for the ortho on method we have to click on the line just give the first point and after that specify the next point or give the length also we can give the length also i have given the length so the lay i have given the length after that in the if i move the cursor in the top or direction and put the length over there as 10 i am giving 10 the value in the left or direction i am giving 10 if i want to close it there is another function is called close loop C L O A C. You can see line specify next point or close or undo. We can do undo to uh, go back to the previous one, or we can do the close to close the loop. If I just write C L O A C or just C enter, C enter will also work. Just write C L O A C or give C enter. It also work. It has been closed. It is in a closed loop and four line has been drawn to make a square. So we have learned about the ortho mode, about putting lines by coordinates and about closing the loop. Okay, we have seen ortho mode. After that we will learn about another mode that is called dynamic input mode. So just uh, I am uh, just switching off the ortho mode, just clicking on here or just clicking on f8 also i'm clicking out here ortho mode is off the command line has been shown after that the dynamic input mode is here it is also off the command is dyn mode we can on it by clicking here or just putting the command i am clicking here for the dynamic input mode so dynamic input is on it has been shown in the blue blue means on and white means off so uh, on the dynamic input mode we are putting a line just see how it looks like for the first point you can see that it has been categorized as taking the coordinate properly with two proper tabs just give the proper value i am giving it as 25 uh, you can put comma or tab just put comma or tab whatever you may like i am putting comma 25 comma I am putting the next value as 10. So first point has been done 25 comma 10. Just click on enter. And after that you can see if I extend the line hold it on. Don't click it. We can see that it has been categorized in two very specific method. In the previous one we have seen we have to give the last point end point or the coordinate as the coordinate or just clicking on the window but here we can do it another way we can give the length and the angular position of the line that is the angular alignment of the line of course so uh, in the position where i am holding the cursor to be the last point uh, the length has been shown as 25.80 and the angle has been shown as 23.7 degree I'm giving the angle, uh, I'm giving the length as 25, just say, and for the angle, just put a comma or tab. I'm giving a tab, and for the angle, I'm giving uh, just 30 degree, let's say. So the length will be 25 millimeter, and the angle will be angular alignment will be 30 degree. Just click enter my line has been done there is another option for the enlargement of course we can make a line chain as we have seen in the before so we are not do a going for extension of the line chain we are just clicking escape so my line has been done the line is if i put it at the second point you can see the angle will be 30 degree because uh, we are taking the angle at the anti-clockwise fashion so it will show the an angle at the anti-clockwise fashion and the length to be 25 and the angle is 30 degree 
okay so we have learned about normal inputting method of line by giving the coordinates starting coordinate and ending coordinate making a line chain by continuously giving the coordinates making a line by clicking on the window click to select method making a line uh, through the ortho mode uh, which makes perpendicular or parallel lines in the 90 degree direction 90 degree 180 degree uh, 270 degree and 360 degree in this method it has been given the lines uh, next we have learned about the closed loop and after that we have learned about the dynamic input method for the line so thank you for watching we will see you in the next video